This video is an exclusive excerpt from our latest FSW webinar. If you're interested, the complete replay is available for free by following the link in the description. Have a nice viewing! Hello everybody and welcome to today's webinar about uh, tank friction steel welding. So we are very happy to have you there. I believe we have a lot of participants today who registered. So today's webinar will be hosted by Laurent Dubourg, the CEO and, and co-founder of the company. More than 20 years of experience in friction steel welding and we will um, discuss about revolutionizing aluminum tank manufacturing. Thank you Tiffany. So good morning, good afternoon and thank Thank you for uh, attending this uh, webinar about uh, how to manufacture aluminium tank using friction steel welding. Uh, this is uh, the container of my presentation, so a short video for beginners, uh, what is friction steel welding. Um, so if you want to learn more, uh, you can visit our website or our uh, YouTube channel, so you can find a very uh, dedicated content about uh, the process in, uh, itself. So we are here today to uh, target more uh, the aluminum tank. Uh, and so why choose friction steel welding for the assembly of your aluminum tank? Um, after uh, how to design an aluminum tank, uh, how to weld an aluminum tank and how to quality control this tank. So this is the contents of my presentation. I choose FSW, FSW for friction steel welding for the assembly of your aluminum tank. So, uh, there are four main drivers uh, why to choose friction sweating for tank. Uh, the first driver is no risk of leak. As I mentioned previously, uh, during the welding process, uh, we never reach the multi-pool temperature of aluminium. So, no liquid phase, so no porosity, no quack, no sticking. So, basically, we avoid all the classic problem that we have when we weld aluminium using uh, classic uh, liquid phase welding techniques such as uh, laser welding, electro beam welding, uh, TIG or MIG welding. Uh, so no defect, that means no leak. So uh, that is, uh, I know, incredible for, for welding, but uh, it's uh, possible thanks to freshness welding. The second advantage is uh, the cost is divided by two. Why? Because as we don't create defects, we reduce a lot the NDT process and the potential repair of few weld by classic uh, welding techniques. And when, if you manufacture tank in aluminium, you know that the main cost of the, your manufacturing process is NDT and the repair when you have uh, identified, when you find a uh, defect into your tank, you have to repair this tank. Uh, so that are the two main reasons uh, why uh, friction threading divided by at least two the cost of uh, tank manufacturing. Made in aluminium, of course. Uh, third driver is weight reduction up to two. Why? Because by friction welding, we can weld any kind of aluminium alone. So for example, this tank, uh, the body is made in 60-61 uh, uh, and the cap is made in 20-17. Uh, uh, so it's possible to weld two different uh, aluminium alone without any problem. So it's possible to make tank in 2000 or 7000 series. So you have access now to high strength aluminium low, uh, typically uh, aerospace uh, low that previously it was not possible to weld by fusion. So now it's possible to weld by friction welding solid state process. The last point is uh, you will see that the mechanical strain after friction welding is very high. So uh, it's possible to, uh, to design and to weld the tank uh, with an, uh, and this tank can support a very high uh, pressure up to uh, 280 bar or 4000 psi and without post heat treatment so that is very important to reduce the cost it is not necessary to perform uh, post heat treatment after welding uh, when you use uh, FSW 
So, um, an important point here is to split uh, the tank according to the size of the tank. So that's why a part of my presentation, uh, my presentation is dedicated of two tanks with a diameter under 300 mm. So basically one foot. Uh, so why it's important? Because we start from extrusion, as we can see here. We have an example of a, a small uh, tank uh, used in uh, in a submarine. Uh, so we are speaking about 200 mm high tank. Uh, and uh, so we close uh, the extrusion by two caps, as you can see here. So uh, the first way to how to manufacture a tank by friction straining is to start from extrusion. The problem with extrusion, the maximum diameter of extrusion is 300 mm. So that's why, in fact, there is two sub-families. Families is under 300 mm and over 300 mm. Okay, so here, under uh, one foot, uh, so we have these two caps. And so using this uh, small jig, to hold the, the tank, we will weld the tank here. So here you can see after welding and after post milling scopation. Uh, and here on this slide, uh, you can see the, the tank uh, just after welding. So you see the cap here. There is a cross section here, so you can see that uh, the friction stewarding uh, tool plunge here and mix uh, the extrusion, this part, with the cap here. So here we machine a groove to be able to, to weld from uh, the top surface. Uh, it's not mandatory, but for uh, this, uh, for this uh, tank, we need uh, 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 one centimeter uh, thick uh, plate here. So to reduce the vertical force, we decided to machine a groove here and to place the cap into this groove. So the cover is made in a 6061 T6. The base extrusion is also made in a 6066 T6, close to a 6061. Uh, and we use a tool, uh, so it's a SAA1, so it's a small tool, uh, so in our tool number one. So you can download our uh, tool catalog in the chat box uh, of this uh, webinar. And so you will see that we have different size of tool corresponding to the weld penetration. And so here to reduce the vertical force, to be able to, be, uh, to support this force by this uh, small wall, uh, so we decided to use uh, our tool SAA1. And we burst this uh, tank and this tank uh, supported a uh, burst uh, well, fail at uh, 45 bars corresponding to 653 PSI. So that's a very interesting for, uh, for a small uh, tank with a, a small uh, wall thickness. So the second example of a tank under uh, a diameter of uh, 300 mm is this application. Uh, I will go deeply in the last, uh, in the next uh, part of my presentation. But uh, the idea here, it's a tank uh, developed for uh, NES. So NES in France is uh, equivalent to NASA in the USA. So for space application, so it's an, uh, a tank uh, with um, 500 mm long and with a diameter of 100 mm. Uh, and so you can see the weld here. And so you will see after. Uh, There's still 30 minutes to watch. Access the full video for free by clicking the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more about friction stir welding.